Dear students, thank you for tuning in. The lesson is for English 802 for technical and vocational education. It is in unit eight, lesson five. The title of the lesson is subject pronouns. In order for you to do the lesson well, you will need the following. Project Success Students Book. A notebook or a piece of paper. A pen or a pencil. And a dictionary. Lesson objectives for today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use subject pronouns in writing sentences. So, what is a subject pronoun? We have three sentences. Am a student, is a man, are in the classroom. There are some words missing. Let's check. I, I am a student. That is a subject pronoun. He is a man. That is a subject pronoun. And you are in the classroom. So, a subject pronoun is a personal pronoun that is used as a subject of a verb. It is the doer of the action. So, I is a subject pronoun. You is a subject pronoun. He is a subject pronoun. And you can, instead of saying he, you can say Ali. She, instead of she, you can say Mona. And then it, instead of it, you can say the house. There is something common between these five. They are singulars. We have we, which is plural, and also you. You have two kinds of you, one that is singular and one that is plural, just like I. I is singular and we plural. There is a plural for he, she, it, and it is they. You can substitute that with something else, like Ali and Mona. So we have the first category. We have a second category. And we have a third category. And with that, we have named them. The first one, we said it is a first person. Second one is a second person. And can you guess the third one? Yes. It is a third person. But there is something, something special between these three, he, she, and it. And pay attention to these, because in, in the common lessons, I'll focus on these, because they have special wording. All right. How to, or what are the types of the subject pronouns? We have. I, you, and he, what comes after he? She, what comes after she? It, and then we, you, and last, they. And as we said before, these are singulars, and, we, and these are plural. So, we agreed that this is first. What about you? Can you remember? Yes, second. What about he? Third. What about she? Third. It. Also third. Can you remember? What about we? It is a first. You. A second. And they. A third. First, second, third. First, second, third. And then you add person, which is the type. All of these are personal pronouns. So we agreed that these are singulars, so I added singular. So we have a category for singulars and a category for plurals. So this is the the full name of each one of them. For I, you can say first person singular pronoun. For you, second person singular pronoun. For he, she, it, 
third person singular pronoun. For we, first person plural pronoun. You, second person plural pronoun. They, third person plural pronoun. So, how to form them? You have the list ready for you. Uh, can you change I into a name or a noun? In a sentence, if I said, I am here, can you change I into a name? Well, you cannot. What about you? If I say, you are there, can I change you into a name? If you do that, if, for example, say, Ali, are there, well, it doesn't make sense because Ali cannot be, be uh, with R. It should be Ali is. Let's see here. Ah, I can change it. If you say, he is there, I can say Ali is there. I can say Khalid is there or Hadi. These are boys' names. Can I change she? Yes, I can change she with all the girls' names. For example, Muna. Fatima or Sara. It. Can I change it into something else? Yes. I can say the cat, animals, or I can say a pen, a thing. For example, it is on the table. Or the pen is on the table. What about we? We, you cannot change it. And also you. But they, you can. You can pluralize cat into cats, pen into pens, student into students, and a player into a team. As you see, if you can remember, first person cannot be substituted with a name or a noun. And second person acts the same, but third person can be. So please remember that. subject pronoun sentences. So, how to make up sentences? Well, it's easy. For example, I, you can say I am a student. You have to have the proper, uh, the subject pronoun at beginning of the sentence to make it a full sentence. Also you, you can say you come by bus. He plays, he plays tennis. And as you see, we have an S. Please remember that. Because with all the he, she, it, they have a special treatment. They have the S's. So pay attention to that. She is my sister. S, S. It can be fast. Well, this cannot be added with S. Why? Because it's a model. But do not worry about that. We are students. You read a story together. They are friends. So these are just sample sentences that without the proper uh, subject pronouns, they cannot be full sentences. We have am, come, plays, is, can, are, read, and are. You cannot switch them between these sentences because with each pronoun, it has to correlate with certain gramma uh, grammatical rules. Subject pronoun sentences. Let's substitute some of the third person pronouns. I, you, what about he? I can say Ali, what about she? Mona, what about it, the cat? Can I substitute we with a name or a noun? No. What about you? You cannot do that. But with they, you can. So let's add the sentences. Uh, it is a correct sentence. I am a student. You come by bus. Ali plays tennis, which is correct. I can say he plays tennis or Ali plays tennis. Muna is my sister. Also the same. I can change she and Muna. 
that cat can be fast. Or I say, it can be fast. We are students. You read a story together. Ali and Muna are friends. The same thing. We have to pay attention to what comes after the pro uh, pronouns. All right, now we go to task one. We have a question. Write T for true or F for false next to the sentences below. And you have a mark to pay attention to. The mark is out of six. Number one, you pronoun comes only in singular. Is it true or is it false? Think. All right. Number two, Mona can be substituted by she. Is it true or is it false? Think. Number three, we is a second person plural pronoun. Is it true or is it false? All right, now let's check the answers. For number one, the answer is F, and you pronoun comes only in singular, which is wrong. You comes in singular and plural forms. Muna can be substituted by she. The answer is true. Three, we is a second person plural, plural pronoun. The answer is F. We is a first person plural pronoun. All right, we have question four. I can be substituted by a proper name. Think. Five. They is, a pr is the plural of first person pronouns. Six. The tables can be substituted with they. All right. Mark your answers. For number four, the answer is F. I cannot be substituted with any proper name or noun. Five, they is the plural of first person pronouns. F, they is the plural of third person pronouns. The tables can be substituted with they. True. Mark your grade and write it down. All right, now we go to task number two. In your notebook, answer the question. A, complete the sentences. You have five sentences. Number one, kicked the ball so hard that his shoe came off. Number two, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, enjoy studying. Three, it's raining again. Four, Puts ketchup on everything she eats. Once finished, his uh, once finished this start and you won. You have a mark of five. After you finished answering this question, grade yourself. We're going to fill in the gaps with the proper subject pronoun. You have five minutes. So, how to answer the first one? You have to pay attention to keywords. For example, his. His is a pronoun, but it is different to subject pronouns. But with it, you can know the answer. And the answer is he. He kicked the ball so hard that his shoe came off. Number two, we have another keyword. Correct me, which is the form of the imperative. Like an order. And with it, you know that the, the person talking to is you. You are talking to a person in front of you. Three. Raining. And with raining, you know it is the sky that is raining. And the pronoun for sky is it. Four. Puts makeup on over everything she eats. Find the keyword. Yes, it is she. And knowing that, the answer is she. 
Number five, once finish, the start a new one. Start, the start a new one. So, just like that, it is a, an imperative. You are ordering the one in front of you to start a new thing. Grade yourself out of five. Task number six. In your notebook again, answer the question. B, write the right pronoun for the underlined. The first one, the managers started a new project. Can you substitute the managers into a proper subject pronoun? Two, today my little brother bought a toy. Three, the file on the table is very important. Four, my mother always encourages me. This is out of five. You have five minutes. You have four sentences and there is an extra mark for the spelling. All right, number one, they. So instead of the managers, you can add they. If you have a correct spelling, mark it. And we know that because of the S. Today, my little brother bought a toy. And instead of my little uh, brother, he, because he, brother, is a boy. Three, et, the file on the table is et. We know that because file is a thing. She, and we know that because mother is a girl's noun. All right. Task number seven. This is, this has the highest grade. In your notebook, again, write four sentences where using different subject pronouns. One, two, three, and four. You have five minutes to do that. Remember all the subject pronouns we have. Try to add sentences that you are familiar with. Write them down.
have a self-correcting tool. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. A full stop. No spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. No grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. And I have prepared for you a model answer that you can compare both answers. In your notebook, write the four sentences using different subject pronouns. The first one, I, is the first uh, pronoun. I visit my grandparents' house every Friday. Two, watch out, you might fall down. Using watch out, you are directing your talk to the person in front of you. She has a brand new phone. What did they do today? So these are the model answers. Compare them with your answers. Well done. Give yourself two marks for finishing the lesson. And please calculate all the grades you have today, all the marks, put them down out of 25. So, one, students are able to use subject pronouns in writing sentences. If your answers were 100% correct, it means 25 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If your answers are 75%, 19 marks, and above, you can go over the lesson. If your answers were below 75%, 19 marks, then redo the lesson, please. So what is your mark? Remember these. 25, 19, and below 19. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.